it is time to debunk 10 myths about infertility. I mean, 10 myths about infertility because a lot has been circulating on the internet about infertility and I decided to debunk all of them in this particular video. All right, welcome back. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be debunking 10 myths about infertility. Yes, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So the first one I'm going to be debunking, which is very common and popular, especially in Africa, is infertility is typically the fault of the woman is the woman's fault everybody believe when a couple fails to get pregnant the blame is to be on the woman and not the man well let me break this to you according to the national institute of health one third of the cause of infertility are as a result of male reproductive issues another one third of infertility are as a result of female reproductive issue and the last one, third cause of infertility as a result of unknown factors. You can see everybody has their own share when it comes to causes of infertility. So the woman is not to be blamed. Now that takes us to the second myth I would like to debunk. And that is you have to wait for at least one year before seeing a fertility expert. According to the definition of infertility, they said if you have tried for one year without getting pregnant, then they can diagnose infertility. So people advise, doctors advise you wait for one year. But from my own point of view, it is not advisable for some certain people to wait till one year before seeing a fertility expert. For those people, I'm talking about people above 35 years of age, women with PCOS, women with endometriosis, women with fibroid. If you have this condition, you don't have to wait for one year before seeing a fertility expert. And if as a man you've had any surgery done on your reproductive organ, you don't have to wait for one year before seeing a fertility expert. If as a woman you've had multiple pregnancy, you've had ectopic pregnancy, you don't have to wait for one year before seeing a fertility expert. But if you know your reproductive organs are fine, you don't have any of this history, you can try for one year before seeing a fertility expert, okay? So that's the second myth I have just debunked. And that takes me to the third myth which I want to debunk. And that is, if a woman is above 35 years of age, she can't get pregnant. That is a big fat lie. As far as a woman is still ovulating, she is still releasing her egg definitely she's going to get pregnant when she has sex and the sperm is healthy okay we all know that generally when a woman age there's a decline when it comes to reproductive function but that does not mean that they are not going to give birth after the age of 35. then the fourth means i would like to debunk is people saying if you are using birth control pill you will not be fatal if you are using birth control pill and you want to give birth it will be difficult there is no research work that has states that if you use birth control pills, you are going to be infertile. Most women, after they stop their birth control pills, their menses tend to come back to normal. But as a woman, if you've stopped the birth control pills and after three months, your body is, your menses is not coming back to normal, I would advise you speak with the doctor and get useful advice and guidance. Then that takes us to the fifth myth I would like to debunk. And the fifth myth is for those that are saying if a man can ejaculate, that is to show the man is fertile. That is a big myth. That is a lie. Okay? If a man ejaculates, he might not be fertile. That ejaculate you see is not just sperm. It is semen in general. That's what you call it. It's semen. And inside that semen, you have sperm. And when it comes to sperm, three things are taken into consideration. We have to talk about the sperm count. We have to talk about the movement of the sperm and we have to talk about the morphology of the sperm. So if anything is wrong with these three things, fertility might be reduced. So that ejaculate you see from your husband is not a sign that he is fertile and is not a sign that he is infertile. Okay, so what I would advise if you are a woman trying to conceive, it's advisable for your husband to also go for semen analysis to know if the sperm count, the sperm morphology and the sperm movement are intact 
Okay, so don't get it all twisted. And the sixth myth I would like to debunk is the fact that people say young men and women cannot be infertile. So they say marry young, marry young. When you marry young, you're able to get your children and you're not going to battle with anything called infertility. Infertility can affect both the young and the old. All right. So if you're having challenges conceiving within the first year of trying and you know you're okay, kindly see a fertility expert and don't get carried away. The earlier you see the fertility expert, the better for you and your spouse. Now that takes me to the seventh myth I would like to debunk, and that is irregular menstruation equals infertility. Irregular menses does not totally equal infertility. Okay, some women might have irregular cycle, but they are able to conceive naturally and carry their baby to term. Why it's difficult to get uh, track the ovulation, though it is difficult to track the ovulation when it comes to irregular menses, that doesn't mean that they can't conceive, that doesn't mean that they can't get pregnant, and that doesn't mean that they can't carry their baby to term. Then the eighth myth that is very popular, that is very common, I keep seeing on the internet, is that they tell you that certain positions increases your odds of getting pregnant. I'm not totally disputing that, but what I'm trying to let you know, why I say it's a myth, is that even if you use some certain sex position and there is no healthy sperm and there is no healthy egg and the healthy sperm does not travel to meet the healthy egg, fertilization cannot take place and a baby cannot be formed. Okay, so the whole idea of sex position improving fertility it's is a myth. Okay, you might do your um your different styles, but when the sperm that wants to get where it goes to, when it gets there, it's able to do it in. But if it doesn't get there, it's unable to do it in. Okay, that's that. And that takes me to the night myth. And the night myth I'm gonna be sharing with you is that people say that your overall health condition does not affect pregnancy. Let me tell you something: your general health, what you take in, actually affects fertility yes like smoking alcoholism things like that affect fertility smoking has been shown over time to affect the sperm so these things affect fertility and i want you to take note of it all right then the last one i want to share with you is that if you cannot afford ivf don't see a fertility expert who told you that lie let me tell you something if you are having challenge Challenge is getting pregnant within the first year of trying. Go and see the doctor. Seeing the doctor does not mean the next line of action is IVF. That when you just go and meet the fertility expert, the next thing they will tell you to do is to do IVF. No. There are other options. They might place you on some medications. If you're having hormonal imbalance, there are some hormones that they can give you to stimulate your eggs. So they will have to do some analysis. They'll take some blood sample to really know what is wrong. They don't just say go and do IVF. So when they say that there is no other options, maybe the medications are not really being effective or your ovaries are not releasing egg or the mass sperm is having issues, that is when they might say, okay, are you able to afford IVF? Do you want to go for IVF? So IVF is not the only option when you see a fertility expert, please. Okay, IVF is not the only thing a fertility expert will tell you to do. All right? visit a fertility expert let them explain to you let them give you options try these options there are cheaper options than ivf there are cheaper options than ivf so these are the 10 myths i want to debunk today and i hope you got value when it comes to infertility thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers, this is not Smith Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.